Hey TCS TV viewers, it's Dave from the Camera Store and it is snowing so I thought I'd find five different items I'd like to find under my Christmas tree. The holidays are right around the corner, so today I'm going to find five different items that I think really help out your whole photographic experience. From ways of carrying your camera to ways to support your camera and a very unique filter system you might not have heard about before. Now when it comes to walking around and taking photos all the time, it's nice to have a place to store your camera. And here's where I like the Peak Design Capture Clip. This is a great way to keep the camera readily accessible. When I'm walking around, I have my hands free to do what I need to do, but I can easily grab my camera when a photo opportunity comes into play. It fits almost every backpack, comes with an extra set of screws, so even if you have a very thick backpack strap, it'll accommodate that. The other thing I like is that the Quick Design Clip on the bottom of it is Arca Swiss compatible. You just need to be careful, make sure your camera's weather sealed, especially on a day like today because it is exposed. Now something that's very important to photographers, especially if you're doing anything that's long exposures, is a good solid tripod. Now when you're picking one, you don't want something too big, too heavy that you have to carry around, but something that's going to really support the weight that you need and give you great flexibility. And that's where this Vanguard VO 324CB 3T Plus tripod hits all the marks. It's probably one of the most flexible tripods that I've ever seen, and there's a lot of features I really like. Right off the bat, it's an Arca Swiss compatible plate. The center column does come up to a decent height, but it also articulates fully, and I can lock it in many different positions. This allows me total flexibility if I want to reach over top of a wildfire for instance, or if I want to do some Instagram photos of my food, I can easily put this over top of a plate setting. The other thing I like about this particular one is the head. Not only is it an Arca Swiss compatible head, but it does have the ability to do panorama. But more so than that, you can do it just on the ball head itself. No longer do I need to actually level the tripod itself. I can simply level the head and loosen the lock and rotate the camera directly here. This makes for a really easy panoramic setup. Now there are a ton of tripods on the market. When I'm looking for one, I have to analyze what am I using it for? How much do I actually want it to carry? How much weight do I want it to carry? What I find with this Vanguard tripod is that it's an excellent bang for the buck. It's a great value for the flexibility that it gives you. Something I like using a lot is a good backpack. When I'm out and about, I want to carry a bunch of camera gear as well as my lunch and some other things like that. Now, I do like the Mindshift Backlight 18 liter, which is a perfect size for a small day hike. It carries all that I need, including a decent sized tripod here on the back. And that's where I like to keep it, right in the middle of the backpack so it's not off center if I mount it onto the side, for instance. This is a really full feature little backpack. What I like are things like the fanny belt is really well bolstered, so it's very comfortable to wear on those longer hikes. This is a rear access backpack, so when you do open it up, you have full access to all your camera gear, and it keeps it nicely and protected. And it's loaded with all kinds of little pockets for storing little items, things like filters and everything else. Other things I like is a nice generous water bottle holder, which is really important when you're out in those longer hikes when it's warm outside. Now I haven't broken it out yet, but it does come with a waterproof cover, which I might be using later on today. Keep in mind when it comes to choosing a backpack size, you want to find something that's going to be appropriate for your day's activities. If you buy a bigger backpack, you are going to fill it up with more gear and it's going to be a lot heavier and make the day less enjoyable. So keep that in mind when you're picking the backpack out. 18 liters seems to be the perfect size for a good day trip for me. Now, an item that I really, really like this year, especially when I'm shooting with really long glass, is this Wimberley MH100. Now, this converts your monopod into basically a gimbal head. Now, it's great when you're observing animals here. We have some deer off in the distance here, and it's nice because they're not moving around really fast. It's not a birds in flight kind of thing. If I have to set up a tripod everywhere I move around, it's much more of a hassle. Monopods are much more convenient to work with as I want to move locations and observe wildlife. But the best thing is I'm not supporting it with my own arm weight. So if I'm observing wildlife for long periods of time, this is a fantastic tool to work. It is an Arca Swiss compatible head. So if I have a lens like this Sigma here that has an Arca Swiss compatible foot, it's great. It just clamps right on. Other lenses, you have to buy an additional plate to make it work. But it's a great tool for using this long glass. It gives you that extra stability to get those crucial shots, especially with those long telephoto lenses. 
we have this fantastic waterfall behind us. Now this is a classic situation where we want to really slow the water down and change our shutter speeds. We're going to do that with a variable ND filter or any kind of ND filter. Now, the problem with me is I'm always bringing the wrong filter size for the lens that I have. Now, here's why I have one of the most innovative products I've seen this year. This is a product from H&Y and this is a variable filter ring. Now it's crazy to look at this thing because as you twist it, it's good for either 67 up to 82 or 58 to 77 millimeter filter threads. This means that if you are running multiple lenses of different filter sizes, I can use one filter and this ring for all of them. Now putting your own filter on is very cool, but today I'm using their version which includes an ND filter and a circular polarizer. This is brilliant because I can adapt this to any lens that I want and it's so convenient. I turn my circular polarizer to the effect that I want and then I just dial in the shutter speed as I need. It makes it very convenient to play around with shutter speeds, especially in a situation like today. To use it is so simple. Simply pinch the ring, twist it so it's closed, hold it up to the lens, open it up, give it a quarter turn and you're good to go. It's not coming off. This is a fantastic little device that really changes how people work. No longer you're carrying multiple filter rings and adapters and everything else. It's one unit that kind of works with a bunch of different things. Now it's not just for photographers. Videographers are going to love this as well. That built-in variable ND filter and circular polarizer combination is a fantastic combo to work with. We've had a pretty fun day here despite the winter conditions that blew in. It's making things very pretty though. Fantastic little waterfalls to practice your techniques with and it's been nice to share a few of my favorite kind of go-to items and I hope some of these are some good gift ideas for you guys who are looking for that hard to find photo enthusiast who is in your circle. Now these are just five things that I really like. If you have items that you'd like to share, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. Make sure you follow us both on Instagram and please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We'll catch you again next time. Ooh, I forgot my gloves again. I am never going to learn. If you like this episode and you want to check out more of our recent content, click up here. And if you're a Canadian and you want to shop local, click down here at thecamastore.com.